Under heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Living life through the night, thin line of a lightning strike. Sometimes the only light when the moon is tucked away, pistons pumping, minds are racing. It's hard to sleep, man, when I'm shaking. Bad news surrounds me, it's always found me. Creeping up when things are good. Yeah, the dark days find a way loud. Thunder, heavy rain, thin line between joy and pain. It's a long, strange trip, it's all insane. You ain't never gonna be the same. Alright, guys, we got everybody out here today. I'm going on a going on a little trip. Heading out into what we're hoping is gonna be some good elk country. But uh, just on the way there, or well actually first we should start off by saying, so Derek went out yesterday, actually in an area really close, and he found himself uh, definitely a keeper shed, we'll say. I don't wanna say too much, but I'm gonna drop that video right after this so you guys can look. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I just, I'm here out hiking with my mom, Carter and Braden are still working, but. Got a little discouraged when I got on top, saw some footprints, but I ended up dropping down a little bit. And we got this little furry right here. He's got velvet on him still. It's kind of interesting, but I guess we'll set you up and get a video. Oh, oh my. It looks like he might have been in the rut and just snapped an antler off. It's all bloody and wow. This is definitely a keeper right here. Alright, so now that you guys have seen that, pretty cool <laughs> little stag shed he found. So that was that was awesome. Pretty excited, huh Derek? Oh yeah, it was nice. Oh yeah. But anyway, nice. <laughs> so we get we're driving down the road and we get to like this just big old open area. And we're like, man, we should glass that, you know? Like, just cuz. Just cuz we all like glassing. How long were we sitting here? About five, two minutes. Five, five minutes? minutes? We'll say five minutes. Say five minutes and Brain goes, oh, there's a deer horn clear down there in the bottom. He navigates me and Derek. Me and Derek both pull up our binos and we're like, oh, yeah, that's a horn. <laughs> so uh, I'll, put my, I'll put my phone up to the binos. <laughs> And show you guys, but we're, there's still a lot of areas. So we're gonna glass around a whole bo a whole bunch more, see if we can see any other ones or if the other side's somewhere. But that, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking 99% sure that's a deer horn. If not, like that's well, there's no like that's a crazy shaped stick. Yeah, or, there's no trees next to it that would make a stick right there. It's just yeah. But I'll show you. We'll we'll, we'll get your guys' opinion and see, and then we'll walk down to it. All right. So you guys not, might not be able to see it. Hey, Brain, come over here. Zoom in on it. So there's that patch of quakies right there, and then there's that opening right above it. It's right in that opening. We'll see if we can. Okay, now tap it to focus. Oh, you can barely see it. Oh, shoot. Right there, you can barely see it in the middle of the screen. We'll get some better footage when we start to get closer. There she is. Braden glassed her up. I'm the first one walking up on it though. Haha. <laughs> I'm quicker than you guys. Carter. What was that, Derek? <laughs> I'm walking up to you. Oh well, he glassed it up though. For sure. Unless that's a different one. I don't think so. <laughs> you can pick it up. We'll wait. We'll wait for Derek. Roughly, just to make sure this was the one he actually glassed up, but it we're guessing it was. Go ahead. Hard yeah, white, yeah, huh? Hard white. Let's see. Had a rough drop. Did it? 
decent. Yeah. Not bad for glassing it up though. That's a small horn to be glassing up from a long ways away. But heck yeah, maybe we'll walk here for a little bit. Yeah. Hey. Right, got another one. Walk up over top of this hill and Braden spots this one. <laughs> Looks like oh. it was broke off, huh? Oh yeah, he was broke off. Wonder what he's doing. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. All right, guys. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. Uh, we finally got to this area where hopefully there's a lot of good horns. So we're gonna walk our butts off today. We each went a different way, and then we'll just meet back at camp tonight and show off the goods. So hopefully it's a really good day. And we'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, look at this. It's not a horn. Look what we got right there. Cool, cool. Alright guys, look at this right here. That looks a lot like a horn. Look through the, uh, I look through the trees and I'm like, oh heck yeah, a horn. That's a stick. Uh, this, this area is teeming with teasers. But you know what, that's just part of the fun. I guess I made it to this flat. Been walking forever, have not found a thing. I'm just walking through here. And I happen to look up, look at these rubs from the rut. Look at how high they are. That's about as far as I can reach, and I'm like 6'2". And they're just torn up. It's crazy. So it looks like they're rutting in here. So hopefully, hopefully I can look onto one. Gotta, gotta wake ourselves up a little bit. Yeah. Huh. It's nice. It's, oh, it's nice and turn. cold. Oh, I did it like three times, but <laughs> yeah, buddy. I gotta get my mullet in there somehow. <laughs> my whole head gotta get in. <laughs> Look like alfalfa. That's what you do when you don't <laughs> find horns. We changed areas because that last area was uh. We'll say just it was not producing. So we came to a different area. It's like six o'clock now. So it's late. We are actually on the way to a new area. But um on our way there, we just kind of looked off on the side. And that's basically how this trip is going. We just find an area that we think looks good and we go hike it. So we're driving down the road, I say, ooh, that area looks good. Let's go walk it. So you got me and Derek right here getting ready to split up. We just barely started walking. And Brain got a little head start. He's up there already walking, but it's, it, majority of this area is, uh, say, it looks like Sagebrush Hills, which is a country that I love. Favorite country to uh, shed hunt. You, gotta, you get a glass a lot. And then occasionally, uh, then it's, there's scattered cedars a uh, ways away. Oh, there's Braden over there. But um, yeah, we're gonna walk in here for a little bit. And see if we can, see if we can get lucky, come across something. So a couple minutes into walking, me and Carter split up. I end up finding a. Like where is it? It's, it's right here. Just, just a little spiker. He's nothing too big. It means we're getting into him though. So what hopefully we can find some other ones. Oh. Here we go. He's got some nice curl to him. Not bad, not bad. On the board with an ancient one. Whoa, it's kind of weird. It's got like an acorn in the middle of it. 
But hey, that's uh, me and Derek both found a horn right in this area. So, uh, so maybe, maybe this area is good. We'll have to keep walking and see if we can find something a little bit bigger. All we got is spikes, but there's gotta be gotta be something bigger in here. So we'll see. So about 30 minutes later, a little bit after uh, me and Carter, we met up a second ago and started glassing and stuff. I said, oh, I want to go to these trees. Yeah, they look good. Uh, we got another another spike. <laughs> We're, we have uh, come to the conclusion that this is uh, now Spike Hill. We found three in about an hour walk. And we were just trying to you know, cool off, not walk that much, but this is some, some funny stuff right here. So I came to this other, these other trees over here. I've been finding a lot of them almost under trees and then I ended up coming across this bad boy right here. Carter's just down the hill from me. We broke the spike streak, so now we can't call it Spike Hill, but it's still, it's a decent brown three. We'll get her picked up once Carter gets here. Go ahead. Small front fork. Backside is. Oh yeah, the backside's definitely more brown. Let's see the base. It's white. Heck Brutal. yeah, dude. Let's look around for his other side and see if we can find some more. Heck yeah. All right, guys. It looks like they've uh, they've deemed this mountain uh, Spike Mountain. But it looks like there's more than just spikes here. So heck yeah. Just a little dink, but it's a horn. Heck yeah. Another little one. It's chalk. A little broken tree. Kind of a weird looking horn. Well, uh, we're kind of looping around trying to see if we can find the other side of Derek's uh, three point. I just found me a little dink. Looks like there's a lot of dinks in this area. So, uh, keep walking around hopefully come across something big or something newer well I guess Derek found that brown but yeah let's see what else there is uh, antelope skull oh crap I broke it <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna circle around start heading back I guess Braden said he found a couple but we got it's just a beautiful area love it but we're gonna circle back around and hurry back because he's back to the forerunner so we'll go set up camp somewhere else and figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow. Hopefully we'll find some more on the way back. It done face crushed me. Uh. <laughs> Pick oh. her up. We gotta hurry. Oh, look at that base. I think he's got a weird, oh, whoa. Look at him. Heck yeah. Hard white. Oh. Let's go. Let's find some more. Uh -huh. You see that tree right there? That's where he found that four point. He just found chalk base. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Radio said he's got another one. What is that, six? Yeah. Jeez. You're paying us back for all the other trips, huh? Oh, yeah. What is it, brown? Chalk. Chalk? Yeah. How big? Uh, I'm coming. Where? Well, find it again. You got it? Yeah, okay. Huh. I'm coming. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Another little guy, huh? Yep. Heck yeah. Let's keep going. We gotta hurry back. All right. That's what we got for today. Just on that little hike in just this area. We just, wait, how long did we go in that area? A couple hours. A couple hours at least. 
But yeah, so that's for today. We didn't get skunked for today. We got, I believe we got 10. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, we got 10 for the day. We still got tomorrow. When is today? Today, Monday? We still got, so yeah, we, it's, today's Monday. We still got uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. But we're going to go find some elk sheds, hopefully. If not, maybe we'll come back to this area if we can't find anything else. Heck yeah. Uh, it's the next morning after we found all those deer. Sheds, Carter's over there somewhere. Brayden's up behind me. We came pretty close back down to where the deer sheds were. And we're just hoping it's a little higher so we can get some elk sheds up in here. But yeah, we're gonna walk this for a little while, see how it goes. I just came down from this very bottom right here, trying to get up on top so I can glass here and I get up on top. I got me an oldie. Here we go. Starting to get into them today. So we got the icebreaker. I'm walking into these trees. I was gonna walk through all these trees right here and then get to the bottom of these trees to glass all around on that other side. And I just happened to turn and look back. Almost missed this one. Trying to hide from me. Little chalker. But hey, that's two. That other one I found is just like maybe five minutes ago. Brain said he got that one, his chalker too. So hopefully we can keep it up. All right, guys, just walking through these trees up to the top. I think that's a horn. Not 100% sure. I guess we're going to go see. Yeah. Right on. All right, so I just realized that I didn't video picking this horn up. It's super old that that tine's probably going to fall off by the time I get back to camp, but it's a horn and it's a start, so right on. Let's keep going. Oh, finally got up on top here. Just over the crest of the hill and uh we got Chalk base and a tine. Carter and Braden have found a few so far. They're over on the other ridges, but I ask you this picked up. He's he's pretty big. That's just the one tine. There he is. So right after I got done picking up that that chalk base and tine and uh, got off the phone with my mom and ended up finding another one just about five feet away from the other one and this one doesn't have a base but we're getting getting into them here just a little too not bad so i hiked a little bit further ended up looking under this tree over here and i found the other side of that chalk base I found back there. I haven't found any tines from him, but it's kind of cool. I uh, found a set. It's a set. Complain about this. I just want to find something with more size and something newer. But not bad. Hopefully we can keep going. So I just picked up this one right over there. I was getting ready to put it on my pack. Walked up on this. Looks like a little deadhead. Three point. Heck yeah. Not bad. Better keep going around in this area, see what else we can find. So I ended up making a little move. I was only finding chalks over there. And uh, it paid off. We got that two point right there. It's hard white. I was hoping to find maybe the other side to that three that I found yesterday. But I'll look around a little more, get this picked up. It's a little hard white two point. 
He's got a weird curve on his main beam. Huh? Nice. So, uh, just a little bit after finding that other two point, I uh, walked over here to walk up the ridge. And we got a brown two point right here. Hopefully we can find the other side or find some more. Just a little brownie. All right, what's up guys? Uh, it's about two o'clock and I haven't come across anything. So I sat down for a second and I'm glassing up and down on this side hill across from me and it looks like I have an elk deadhead. So I'll go over, look at it. I mean, it'd be awesome if they're just horns, but I'll go look at it if it's decent sized, call the DWR in and hopefully get it back. So I'll show you guys through the binos real quick and then I'll start making my way over there. All right, right there's what I'm looking at. See if I can focus this a little bit better. Yeah, right there. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so that dead head is right. There. I realize this, but I've got to cross that to get to that. So that's gonna be fun. All right, so I can see a leg bone right there. So it's gotta be really close. Broken off bottom of an arrowhead. It's pretty windy. Ah, oh, finally, you guys. I got up into some higher deer country, or higher up country, out of where the deer were. And I was like, I want to go find some elk sheds. This is making me mad that I'm just finding little dinky deer sheds. And I get up to this point right here, or just like in this kind of like flat, and I'm literally just sitting here. And I noticed I had some service, so I figured I'd check my phone real quick. And I'm looking through messages from my family and stuff, and I stop and I look up, and I about lost it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Heck yes. Little six. Heck yeah, finally got an elk shed. Oh, I better get some pictures and get picked up. Actually, look at this. This is what I saw too, look at the base. Oh, sweet. He's like short and stubby. He's not big at all, but heck yeah, get some pictures. All right, hope you guys can see me. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah, might be too low. Hope you guys can see it. Sorry guys, I still had my phone. Uh, I had service. Derek called me, interrupted the video. But yeah, there we go. There's a better look at it. It's not heavy at all, which is kind of confusing. But oh, look at the difference in color. You got that white right there, and brown on the backside. Heck yes. Oh. Oh, I hope I can match him up. I'll keep 
walk around, see if I can find it. All right, so everybody's kind of starting to head back. And honestly, I'm getting kind of bored because like, I haven't found anything that I can really keep today. And uh, I popped over this ridge and there's a sagebrush flat out in front of me. I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ask one last time. Put the binos up real quick. And the first thing that I land on, I'll show you here in just a second. Look at that, dead center. Might be crap going on the back, but it's got really nice fronts. So I'll glass around, maybe try to find the other side, and then go pick her up. It's right there. Heck yes! Got the little two point. Sweet! Looked like it would have been fairly decent. I'm, I'm trying to head back. Derek's back at the Forerunner. Uh, he says Braden's not back yet. But he should be. So I'm trying to hurry back. And then figure out what to do from there. Well, who knows, maybe I'll stumble upon another one, we'll see. Okay. Turn and look right there. Boom. Chocker. Heck yeah. Decent little guy. Not bad. I hope I keep finding more on the way back. Still just cruising back. Look what I got myself here. Got myself another little chalky three-point. Look at that. Heck yeah! Woo. It is getting hot and I gotta, I'm still trying to hurry back. I'm still a ways. All right guys, so we all ended up making it back down. Braden showed up finally. <laughs> Turns out we could not hear anything that he was saying on the radio, but we, uh, yeah, he couldn't hear us, but he could hear everything. No, no, no. We couldn't hear him. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> we couldn't hear him, but he could hear us. So anyway, we got back down. We pulled all the sheds out from the trip and we got 27 sheds total. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I had a goal for this trip and it was to come out with 20 sheds on the whole trip and we already beat that. And since we're pretty close, and what time is it? Anybody got the time? About 4.30? No, it's 5. It's like 5.30. It was 5 when we got oh, back. Well, 5.40. 5.40. So it's like 5.40. So we got a little bit more daylight left. So we're going to go for one more little walk. And we're shooting for 30 sheds. We're going to do it right here. Yeah, we only got... Yeah, I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go. We'll, we'll go out. We'll go walk around. We got one more uh, good area, it looks like. We'll see if we can find some more. Another one. We gotta keep going. Hopefully we'll find some more. Just made it to 30. Another chug base, baby. Hopefully we can find some more. Oh, there's a balloon right over there. Blown in the wind. Heck yeah. Keep going. Hopefully we'll find more. Alright, so uh start going up this. Wheeler goes this way, car goes this way. Right onto this guy. Right there, that's 
sage brush. Uh, hard white, or is it brown? It's hard white. Hard white three. Not bad at all though. He's not bad horn, we're almost at 30. We have one more to find. One more. This is but heck yeah. Another little horn. Little shock two point looks like. Not bad. We caught a brookie! <laughs> look at the fish! Look at the fish! <laughs> Heck yeah! We are just messing around at camp, threw out the fishing pole. What was that? The third second time. Second, second time I casted it out. Oh, I gotta get this out. He kinda he We have pliers. Yeah, go give me the pliers, because it's down in there pretty deep. <laughs> That's more dinner right there. All right, so right here we got all of Derek's sheds lined up in the order he found them. We got Braden's. This one fell out of place. We got all of Braden's that he found in order. And we got mine. Got my nice six point. And all those. So that's what we got as of tonight. We're still gonna try and go out tomorrow morning before we head home. But uh, it's kind of late and we didn't really set these up the best, but we'll set it up again on our, at the end of the trip. We'll see if we can find more. Here on the way home, we stopped in this area just for a quick walk. We end up uh, end up running into a, a chalk spike. It's a little something. We're probably not gonna walk too much longer. And uh, yesterday when we were walking, I ended up finding another chalk base. I couldn't video because my phone died. Carter and Braden are on each side of me, but we're gonna walk for maybe five more minutes and then head back. It's been a good trip so far. All right, guys, we finally made it home. Got all the sheds laid out. Probably one of our best trips we've had so far. Heck yeah. What do you boys think? Minty. Minty. Pretty good trip. I love it.